Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, we are discussing the IWC Portuguese Perpetual Calendar. This is the reference 5021-19 in pink gold. It is 44.2 millimeters in diameter. It's 15.4 millimeters thick from lug to lug. This one is 52.5 millimeters, and then the spacing between the lugs is 22 millimeters. So the timepiece is large. There's no getting around that. Large has always been the style with the Portuguese, or from the very first one back in 1939 to the present. Originally devised to be a super accurate wristwatch by virtue of its use of a pocket watch movement, it was born as the first truly oversized purpose-built dress watch. Now, with the addition of a perpetual calendar featuring the Kurt Klaus system and a seven-day automatic movement, you have the best of all possible worlds. The watch is large, however. As you can see on my 16-centimeter circumference wrist, it wears particularly broad across the wrist. 52.5 is a large expanse from lug tip to lug tip, so I'm going to recommend this watch for a wrist of my size or larger. You're going to want a 16 centimeter circumference wrist or larger to wear this watch. Uh, you can see it's fairly thick, 15.4 uh, millimeters, but it does have a little bit of a sloped case flank to allow you to slide it underneath perhaps a dress jacket cuff. Now the timepiece is weighty and impressive. All in pink gold with a massive case, you can tell where the money went. Taking a look at the strap, it is medium rectangular scale alligator leather with some bolstering to give it a little bit of volume. You can see that it includes a calfskin underside, a sheer cut flank showing the layers of leather, and then a monotone stitch. It's a semi-gloss black finish, and we have the IWC pin buckle with a combination of satin and polish. Taking a quick look at the case all the way around, you can see that the watch is in excellent shape, and it includes a combination of gorgeous polished highlights and satinated sides. You can see the case band with integrated lugs is born from the same design ethic as the original Patek Philippe Reference 96 of 1932. Separated by seven years, these watches were products of the same form follows function 1930s design ethic. And while they're very different in size, they're actually very similar in detail, right down to their use of sub-seconds, Arabic numerals, blended lugs, and leaf-style hands. Now, the watch includes an IWC crown with the company motto, Probus Scafusia, good solid watches made in Schaffhausen. The dial is is gloss black with sunken registers. We have dimple style minutes outboard with lovely rose gold Arabic numerals. We have rose gold hands, including leaf hands for the hours and minutes. The watch includes a coaxial display of running seconds and day as well as power reserve and date. So the watch uses the IWC Kurt Klaus perpetual calendar system, which means you simply pull the crown out and as I rotate, everything moves in sync. And you can see how that includes the month, the date, the day, the moon phase, the year, even the decade. And there's a little slide that comes with the watch that gives you an additional three centuries should you ever have to displace the century in years hence. So again, the year and the decade are automated as part of the calendar. There is a little slide that comes in a wax sealed tube that allows you to change the century manually. Now this quick set system enables that you can never come up with an incorrect combination of moon phase, day, date, and month as it is mechanically programmed until the year 2100 and IWC watchmaker Kurt Klaus wanted setting a perpetual calendar to be as easy as setting a Rolex Datejust and that's what we have right here. And once again you could set an interval as large as a decade or with the hack seconds as small as one second. Now the watch includes a double hemisphere moon phase. So you have the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. That's why we have two different moon phases inside those, that geosphere cut register up at 12 o'clock. We also have the age of the moon around its periphery. On the reverse side, this is a fascinating movement. Caliber 51614, a seven day automatic that's about 37 millimeters in diameter. The movement is bigger than an entire Rolex Datejust 36. So it's an automatic winder with bi-directional action. It uses ceramic pawls and the IWC Paul and Wheel Peloton winding system designed by IWC watchmaker Albert Peloton in the late 40s and industrialized in the early 50s. It's a very efficient, very shock tolerant bi-directional winding system. And you can see with the addition of those white pawls, 
you eliminate the dirt on the movement problem that had been an issue with previous versions of the Peloton winding system. Now this one beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it is free sprung for durability and shock resistance. It's also adjusted in five positions, which is the chronometer standard, as it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour on its free sprung architecture. It uses a handmade Breguet overcoil hairspring so that in any position, the hairspring breathes concentrically and allows the watch to keep very even time. Now, what you can also see here is that the watch has a solid gold, yellow gold medallion inside the rotor, one large mainspring barrel. Uh, this 62 jewel movement features Cote de Genève across the bridges. It features satination on the wheels, black polished screw heads. Uh, there is engine turning on the base plate, and the bevels are present, but most of the finishing here is machined, so it's handsomely executed, but as appropriate in this price range. It's a combination of manual finish and machine finish. One detail I love, however, is that little golden chiton holding the escape wheel, a wonderful nod to IWC pocket watch making in the early 20th century and late 19th century, and again, a seven-day power reserve. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this IWC Portugueser Perpetual Calendar.